Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. It's Lightroom Tuesday, so let's go ahead and look into creating a sepia and then, of course, making that into a profile. Hey folks, it's going to be short and sweet. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm not doing a catalogue related thing, but I will do something on that next week. Just I'm in the middle of a long run of audio gigs at the moment. Um, so I haven't had a whole lot of spare time. And I've been shooting a ridiculous amount as well. Being in a combination of commercial work and personal work. Shot quite a lot of personal work recently. I should really show you more of that stuff. All right, folks, but let's dive into making a quick sepia and then showing how you can convert that using Camera Raw into a profile. So we're going to start off with this image here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into a basic black and white. I'm going to do that using Adobe Standard, which is kind of the standard black and white, basically. Or rather, rather Adobe Monochrome. Um, but it's the Adobe Standard based one. Okay, and to make the actual look itself is very, very quick. We're just going to deal with the shadows. Um, CP tones for me look good between 20 and 30. Um, so there's about 23, and then I'm going to bring this up. If we bring it up the whole way, again, if we hold the Alt or Option key as we drag, you can see the extreme of the colour. Um, but I'm not into kind of those extremes of colours for these anyway. I'm into more subtle stuff. So, like, 9 or 10 looks really, really good to me there. And if we turn off the split toning panel there, you can see it makes a difference. It's a very subtle uh, split tone. And so I'm really, really happy with that, how that looks. The first thing we need to do is go Command or Control S to save this information to the file. Then we need to do Command or Control or to show where we are in the Finder. And then if we double click on this file, it will open into Camera Raw. So now we go over to Presets. Down here at the bottom is the new preset icon. But what we're going to do instead is we are going to hold down the Alt or Option key. We click on that and that will bring up this new profile option. Uh, so we're going to call it uh, Sean CPF, for example, here. Okay, it can be saved in a set called User Profiles, or you can save it in another one. So let's say I'm going to, I have this one called LRB Prolific. Yes, it's just a take on profiles. So I'm going to stick it on that. Um, so it's got basic point curve and split toning in it. So any of the stuff I've done in those are applied. Okay, you can have a tone map strength in it, just set to normal. And the look table, so it's based on Adobe Monochrome. So that's saying use Adobe Monochrome as the base for it. So now we click OK. And that now will have saved that. So if we jump out of there, we're just going to click cancel here for a second. And now I'm going to go back to very quickly. I'm going to jump into develop, but we're going to have a quick look at profiles first before we start. And um, so go into the profile browser and we go down the bottom and some of the pro last ones are there. I'm just going to close them down. I wish there was a way to do it. I wonder if I alt or option click will close all of them. No. It won't. All right, so down the bottom are prolific, and we can see we've got one called Craig, which is a different one, and one called First Grade. So these are ones that I've made already. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart Lightroom. I'm going to do this from a script from the photogeek.com, which is LR Relaunch. And I'll come back to you when it's relaunched. So we're now back in Lightroom and here's my image and it seems to have nothing applied to it currently. But if we look down here in LRB Prolific, we can now we can have this Sean Sepia here. If we select that, that's now applied. But let's go down and have a look at split toning. And we can see our old split tone is there. So if I just reset that so that split toning is turned off because it wasn't showing the preview correctly, we can now see that we even though we've no split toning applied applied here you can see that our image is already split toned okay so the reason for that is the profile sets up a base look so that this image is automatically sp uh, split or uh, has our CPU tone in as a split tone so folks hopefully that showing a CPU tone just shows you how to use toning very very basically as well but it shows you how to go and do the steps correctly which I didn't do the first time in how to you save out your XMP then you go and you find the file and then open it up and it all should automatically open up into camera roll and from there you go to your presets and you hold down the alt to click on new preset and that will give you new profile options so folks do subscribe if you haven't already 
been very slow uptake of late. I'm gonna have to do more videos. It's as simple as that. I know that's what it is. It's because I've only doing one, been doing one a week instead of two a week. So I know I need to bump it up. But we'll be hitting uh, five thousand hopefully by next week. And uh, of course, if you want to get notified of when I do new videos, please do hit the bell because I am going to try to do more. But just I've been so busy. I've been trying to do some behind the scenes stuff at some of the personal work, but I just literally haven't had a chance. I had my son out today. He was supposed to do some behind the scenes shots so I could kind of include it in voiceover. Nope. In his own world doing stuff. So that was it. That was it. Right, folks. Thank you for taking time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.